The moment he started it, I knew there needed to be some changes. So I remember back in college when I first heard of the FRS concept that was coming out and the concept car looked gorgeous. <laughs> I remember just vividly, one day after leaving a tofu soup place, kid you not, tofu soup place, um, I saw my first FRS in person and I just flat out fell in love with this, this car. Um, from the concept car to the multiple iterations of that car, I, I knew this was the car I had to have and immediately I just knew I had to test drive this car, which I did. And I'm like, all right, this is, this is it. This is, this is the next car for me. There is this monogram version that was coming out and it had everything that the Toyota GT86 over there in Europe and over there in Australia had, which, which is what I wanted. Unfortunately, I would have to buy it at MSRP and production was limited. And so I looked for a car that ticked all the right buttons and it just so happened that car was a thousand miles away in Jersey. And it was a forum member that was selling it and I bought a one-way ticket. Um, he sent a few photos, he sent a video of how it sounded and it just, it's, at the time it worked for me. And so I flew up to Jersey, took an Uber to uh, Bayonne, New Jersey, I believe, and I saw the car. The moment he started it, I knew there needed to be some changes. I knew my neighbors would hate me at this point, so I knew the car needed, a, needed some work. Um, this, is, this is the onus of buying a car that from you know, someone who uh, doesn't have your taste. So I start the thousand mile trip home, and uh, immediately some problems are starting to appear. Um, for one, the owner didn't put a tune on the car, and so every now and then, a check engine light would appear, and what would happen with the check engine light on Subarus is your cruise control stops working. And so I'm driving a thousand miles home to Atlanta, no cruise control, stopping every few hours to reset the ECU in order to get cruise control back. When I finally arrived back in Atlanta, I brought it to my favorite alignment shop and they pretty much said, yeah, the previous owner, he installed the camera plates backwards, which is a big no-no. And then we checked the alignment of the tires and um, they were essentially pointing like this. And those tires were getting worn out fast. Um, he needed to add some lower control arms to the rear because the rear tires were sitting like this. So I know I inherited a problem and using something like VinWiki, I've been able to document pretty much all these fixes to the car that needed to be made. And I'm happy to say the car is better than ever now and I'm hard pressed to get rid of it. As a luxury and exotic brand dealer, you know the challenge of putting the right price tag on perfection. Ritz Garage places you directly in touch with our qualified network of new and used dealers with no auction fees. Ritz Garage. Premium cars, premium dealers, without premium fees.